I want to talk about Russia, the Russian army, and trash. If you've watched any footage of the war in Ukraine, you'll notice that there always seems to be trash strewn everywhere whenever Ukrainian forces storm Russian trenches. And the video that I'm about to show you comes from the Ukrainian 3rd Separate Assault Brigade that had just taken a trench near the village of Andrivka, which is near the city of Bakhmut in Ukraine. Now, I'm going to show you the whole video first, and I want you to keep an eye out on the amount of trash that's strewn in and around the trenches. And while you're watching this, I also want you to think about why all of this trash might be a bad idea. Now, in this particular video, uh, we're going to see soldiers uh, kind of ransacking these Russian positions for uh, equipment and ammunition. Мені пулемет брат чи ні? А вони посьобували, да? Посьобували підери? Да, вони звідси уїбали. Тож два пекача трапили. Ага, плюс, плюс. Блять, касетами до пизди. Пулеметних карабів скільки? ГПшка! Я до тебе. Готуй! Давай пулеметні караба. Вон рюкзак. Где? Он впереди слева. Ага. Слева в фланге. А что у тебя? Вот он спереди пулемет. Где? Вот, и там я еще один. Now, did you see that massive amount of trash? Also notice that the Russian uniforms that have been hung up in this tree here, I assume maybe to dry after being washed, are full of holes from shell fragments. You can just imagine what it was like being a Russian soldier in that trench with shell fragments ripping through the uniform that you hung up to dry. So, why is all this important? Why is the whole trash thing important? Now, you might expect soldiers to just trash an area if it's not their country, right? Who cares if you throw a bottle on the ground? We're blowing up their country anyway, right? But a lot of that goes back to discipline. If you don't have the discipline to keep an area clean, what other discipline are you lacking? So seeing all this trash tells me that for the most part, the Russian army, at least in this particular sector near Bakhmut, is suffering from a lack of leadership. Now the average American produces 4.5 pounds of trash per day, but the average soldier, the average American soldier produces up to 100 pounds of trash per day. And I, I was actually kind of surprised when I saw that number. And then I, I, when I was doing the research for this, I realized I actually went to the school that I got this information from, you know, the document I got this information from. And I realized, oh my God, they're correct. It's bodily waste that you have to get rid of. It's food waste and it's dunnage. And at least in the American army, dunnage is a huge deal. Dunnage, and that's D-U-N-N-A-G-E, is the disposable packing material that fits inside things like ammunition boxes. Even things like forklift pallets can be considered dunnage. And a modern army needs a lot of stuff to keep itself supplied. Now, the problem with letting all that trash and dunnage accumulate is that food and bodily waste attract rats 
and insects. And when you have rats and you have insects, pretty soon you have sickness. And then you have soldiers who are too sick to fight. You have to take care of those soldiers medically. So you want to police up your trash to make sure rats aren't spreading disease. But the other problem, and maybe you thought of this while watching the video, all of that trash can get spotted by drone. So now it's possible for you to not only give away your position by not taking care of your trash, but your adversary might actually be able to calculate how long you've been in an area or how strong your force is just by watching that pile of trash or the trash surrounding the trenches accumulate over time. The U.S. Army calls this noise, light, and litter discipline. And the average person might understand noise and light, right? They understand how noise and light could give away your position at night. But they might not think of trash as being the same thing. So this tells me a couple of things. It could be that Russian forces are training these frontline soldiers so poorly that they don't understand noise, light, and litter discipline. So that's one thing. It could also be that the Russian NCOs who may be involved in this sector may not understand why it's necessary to, to clean up trash and make sure there's no dunnage surrounding these trenches. It could also be on a higher level of leadership. Russian tactical leadership, they, they might not actually care that trash is being left out. So that's one possibility. They might not care. Second possibility is they might not know that it's bad to leave trash out. I find that very hard to believe, but it, it is possible that these uh, Russian officers might not know it's bad to leave trash out, that it attracts insects or it could attract drones. I think it's also possible that the, they might not understand that this trash might be a breeding ground for disease. But here's what I think might actually be the case. Russian mid-level leadership, we're talking battalion leadership and above, they have got to know that leaving trash out is a problem. But maybe they haven't been visiting the front lines to check. And that's kind of dangerous. Back during World War I, there was a term, the Chateau General, which was the, the generals who order attacks, but they never leave their chateau in France to go check on uh, how the attack is doing. So that could be an option as well, that Russian leadership isn't actually coming to the front lines to check on their soldiers, because any army officer who came to the front lines and noticed trash all strewn around would, would <laughs> blow their top, and every single non-commissioned officer in that chain of command would be in a heck of a lot of trouble for not policing their soldiers and making sure all that trash was picked up. So that's something to think about. Either way, it's interesting to see how the average Russian lives and in some cases, how they die. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube and you like the channel, this is my job now. This is how I pay my rent. So uh, if you'd like to get a Hell on a Wire tow missile t-shirt, you can get that from BunkerBranding.com. Uh, if you'd like uh, to toss me five bucks, you can do that on my Substack. We can also watch this video in an uncensored way. And uh, if you have a person in your life who really loves the channel, go get a cameo greeting. Thank you guys so much for watching. In a world where fashion meets firepower, where style becomes strategy, it's time to gear up for the ultimate mission with Bunker Branding. Introducing the Rock Out With Your Chalk Out t-shirt, a tribute to the fearless air cavalry. Feel the adrenaline rush as you don the pride of the skies. For those of you who dare from the air, precision and power unite when you think outside the bomb. And don't miss our Live Laugh Launch t-shirts for Patriot and Highmars, because sometimes defending freedom means bringing the thunder. Finally, for the true defender of the seas, we present Department of the Boat People. Sail of honor and show your allegiance to the world's mightiest maritime force. With these shirts, hoodies, and stickers, along with the tow missile, landmines, and drone warfare. These aren't just shirts, they're statements. They're your way of saying I stand for strength, unity, and style. Get yours at Bunker Branding today.